What are Web 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0? In this Crypto Explained video, we will define, describe and provide examples, so let's begin. Web 1.0 is the earliest stage of the internet. It's a series of static web pages without any moving images and minimal ways to interact with. Simply a series of pages and directories full to the brim with text and static images. However, it provided a medium for online users to purchase stuff and do some browsing along other things like communicating without having to view any ads. Basically, a platform made for consumers in the most basic way back in the 1990s. Few examples include Yahoo and Wikipedia, also Netscape. Rip. Also, content creation did not really exist at the time, so if the internet did not innovate, then I won't be making this video for you today. Web 2.0 is the current state of the internet. Millions of websites and web pages worldwide providing interactive, user-generated and social content, which includes all social media websites like Instagram and Facebook. Users can add content to their liking without affecting the technical framework of this system, but this includes the centralization and collection of data as a negative trade-off for the user, and a huge benefit to the corporations, like Facebook and advertisers of course. Not to mention the importance of data in this new economy we have founded, it also created over the last decade the ability to leverage it in unethical ways like selling data to companies or using it to further certain agendas and more. Now here is the interesting part, and what I believe is going to be the societal transition into a new era, and that is Web 3.0. If you like this video thus far, don't forget to smash the like button by the way. Anyways, Web 3.0 is the transformation of ownership of data from the corporations and centralized databases to data that is shared to everyone and controlled by the users themselves. Now of course this includes the blockchain, so it's the same way of just transmitting data and making sure that it is fully decentralized and not controlled by any one entity. For example, say you want to post a video or an image or a blog online then that is shared between all users online all over the world so it is completely decentralized network again of sharing information so censorship will not exist in this new economy of information however this might cause a lot of hateful or undesired content to spread which is an unethical challenge that still exists and this is an argument that no one can really answer because there are many different perspectives to how this all works but this will give the birth to many, many things like the semantic web, which is a search engine similar to Google, however, rather than using keywords and numbers to match content with search engine optimization, the semantic web and artificial intelligence will be able to comprehend the information and present one which is deemed the most fit. Now this sounds like some sci-fi stuff for now, so it's time to build a bunker in Switzerland and stock up on canned avocados. One thing of note however, and that is Web 3.0 thus far is still in its early stages and the regulatory basis on this is not available. And currently, not a lot of services offer Web 3.0 capabilities, but for example, for blogging, rather than using Blogspot, you can use Steemit or from Google Chrome to Brave Browser, but this is still the tip of the iceberg for now. So, what are your thoughts on Web 3.0, which is really the premise of what we're talking about? Do you think it can change the way we utilize the internet? It would be really interesting to read your opinions down below. Only 5% of those watching are subscribed to my channel, so if you're new, join us by clicking that button and join us on this long cryptocurrency journey. You'll also find more about me on my YouTube page, but above all else, thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video.